All right, but one thing that piqued my curiosity because I saw a picture of this in Ryobi Rebels, I'm actually curious if this hammer drill will fit in between these. It would be cool if it does. Yeah, but it doesn't lock into place. Yeah, it doesn't lock into place, but it does fit in there and you could wobble it a little bit. Yeah, see, but it's, yeah, it, it would be cool if these do lock into place, but they don't. They fit inside. You know, they'll stay there to a certain extent, but, but they do, they will fall off. Hey, Cable Tools, today we are going to test out the new DeWalt PowerStack battery and the new Ryobi tools, all right? These are the new Ryobi HP tools. They've been out for a little bit, but they're still fairly new, all right? So this battery is a 1.7 amp hour battery. It has 30.6 watt hours. It is a small little bad mamma jamma. Oh, and just so you guys know, in the future, we're also gonna test this out on Makita. We're gonna see how the power stack does with the, the Makita brand. So please subscribe to the channel for that. But in this video, we are gonna do the, pretty much the same thing that I did for the power stack battery, which I'll put that video right here. We are gonna test out the mid-range impact wrench, the impact driver, hammer drill and we are actually going to do concrete in this video we're actually going to do concrete first and the single-handed reciprocating saw now we're going to test this out in all all these tools we are going to use the 3 amp hour hp battery with 21700 cells and we are going to do the new 1.5 amp hour battery as well this actually might give a boost in ryobi tools all right so the 1.5 amp hour battery weighs 14.6 ounces a 3 amp hour battery with 2700 cells, and this is P195, just so you guys know. P195 is a metal number. 1 pound and 8.0 ounces. Then the power stack, the 1.7 amp hour battery, 11.0 ounces. There we go, that is ready. And just so you guys know, it does work. It does work. Make sure it works, yes it does. And I will say this, the Ryobi does have a very unique hammer feature. All right, this, the, this hammer drill is actually very powerful to drill through concrete, it actually is. This is up there with flex. All right, so the 1.5 amp hour battery is full. Uh, that stopped. All right, that's actually that's actually time. Now let's do the three amp hour battery. Battery is full. Do it right next to it. And that is time. There we go. Right next to it. I do not know what the times are until I edit the video, but let's move on. Let's see if we can do it. It's on speed two, it's on drill. This really is a nice hammer drill, you guys. I love the design. It's a full metal, uh, it's a full metal chuck. This really is a decent hammer drill. A little bit more. All right, so speed two, it failed on speed two. We're gonna do a quick test for these. Speed two failed on with the 1.5. All right, it failed for the three amp hour. Speed one to take it out. Nope, uh, power, stack fa uh, power stack failed too. We're gonna have to do this on speed one. All right, so speed one, 1.5 amp hour, battery is still full. 
We are not going to recharge these batteries, just so you guys know. They all have to do, do the same task, and that's the point. Time. All right, so let's do the three amp hour battery. Time. Uh, let's take out the 1.5 amp hour. Time. I'll stop that at the proper time. Three amp hours. Time. Right, then let's put in the power stacks. Time. All right, so let's take that out. Time. All right, we got the 1.5 amp hour battery on the impact driver. Uh, the battery is still full. Oh, the battery's at three bars. It's on speed three. that's majorly struggling like it's uh it's it's like going to a quarter turn like every couple of seconds yeah it's not really rotating there we go. all right that's where it stops the battery is at one bar that's going to go back up Let's do the three amp hour battery. Battery's still full. All right, that's where all, a quarter turn left. Let's see if it can, let's see if it can continue. Nope, that's where the three amp hour battery stops. Right, let's see if the power stack can do any more. The power stack is still at three bars. And that's where the power stack stops. Now, when it comes to that, that's the tool. All right, so they both, uh, the three amp hour high output uh, stopped at the same distance uh, as the power stack did. So the three amp hour is a smidge further, but it's not enough to really determine the, if, the, if the battery is better. The power stack did stop, but I think that's because of the tool. All right, let's drive these in for the next test. We're gonna use the four amp hour battery to do so. Time. Time. Oh. Time. This test is gonna be against the power stack between the three amp hour high uh, HP battery. All right, so let's do this one first. Time. Power stack battery. All right, so let's drive this in with the three amp hour battery. Then we're gonna take them out with an impact uh, driver.
think that's time. Time. Put that in right there. Time. All right, we got the impact driver. Let's see if we can take it out. Time. Let's do the power stack. Time. Now, when it comes to this, these are too close to tell. I can't really tell if the power stack is actually helping the Ryobi tools out, but it's still like when it comes to boosting the power, uh, like to be equivalent to the three amp hour HP 21700 cell battery, but I can, I can tell that this is a lot better than the 1.5 amp hour battery, which because of the size, it's actually pr pretty amazing. And once again, this is model number DCBP034. Let's test out the 1.5 amp hour battery and see if it could even do this. I can tell this is gonna struggle. Yep, it gave up. We're gonna consider that a fail. Back to the hammer drill, 1.5 amp hour battery has two bars. We're gonna do a one and a quarter inch speed board. It's on drill, speed two. Nope, it requires speed one. All right, so we will do this on speed one. Time. Hey, was he able to do it? Give the 1.5 amp hour battery that. Battery's back at one bar. Let's do the three amp hour battery. We're gonna test it right here again, see if this can do it on speed two. Nope, requires speed one. Time. All right, so let's switch to the power stack. Uh, two bars on the power stack. Let's see if we can do it on speed two. I'm curious. Nope, it requires speed one. I'll, it would have been awesome if it did it with the power stack on speed two, but it's okay. I was hoping it would. Time. Okay, so when it comes to the Ryobi single hand reciprocating saw, we I need to cut this, I checked all sides. I gotta cut this right here to cut off all this garbage. 4.5 amp hour battery, battery has two bars. We're gonna do one cut each. Yep, it can't do it. We're gonna give it one more pull. Actually, it stopped. Yep, the battery is completely dead. It won't even light up. And like I said, we did not charge these batteries at all. Well, let's use the four amp hour battery and finish that cut. did it and it's a clean cut as you can see no gouges uh, from a hole that I drilled out from a previous video so next let's do the 3 amp hour battery the battery has three bars remaining yeah that 1.5 amp hour battery died That's actually not bad. That wasn't bad at all for that. 
For a pressure treated 4x6, that, that wasn't bad at all. And remember the 1.5 amp hour battery failed. Power stack is at two bars still and the 1.5 amp hour battery completely died. And this is a 1.7 amp hour. And it has two bars left and plenty of, uh, plenty of power. All right, so the final battery for the 1.7 amp hour power stack is two bars still. That is absolutely insane. All right, and the 1.5 amp hour battery, uh, which is right here, is at two bars after it's said and done. But the power stack actually does help out your tools when it comes to just having a small battery because you see that the 1.5 amp hour battery failed because it just couldn't produce the power that was needed to do the task when the power stack actually still was able to complete the task with ease in good amount of time. Now, I don't know what it was against a 3 amp hour HP battery, but you guys already know. And it says two bars left. And like I said, we will be doing the Makita with the power stack in the future. So please subscribe to the channel for that. So if you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.